This is a brand new HP 250G8. This shiny thing has almost 16 inch screen. It has an awesome speedy Intel processor and cool noiseless design. This laptop is basically what you need for good office and web experience, but it also introduces a sharper and slimmer screen, so it's much more usable for watching videos or even edit if you like to work like Ace Ventura. The HP G8 has a lot of in the specs that will be handy when it comes to everyday use. It comes with a good Intel processors from i3 to i7, SSD drive and it has free slots for easy RAM and drive upgrade. The laptop also has a discreet cooling and comfortable keyboard. There is even some gaming potential inside if you choose your games wisely. In the times where many boxes look similar to each other, the HB G8 stands up with its bold HB logo on the front. Otherwise, its box contains usual stuff, a manual instructions, charging adapter and laptop. I'm gonna start with the chassis of this laptop. The G8 has a classic timeless HB styling for the G-series, but with a quick glance you can tell that HB has finally modernized its bezels. Now they are much more thinner. The lid and bottom are still outfitted with the plastic shell with stylish textured patterns. They are trying to convince people that it's much more resistant against scratches. And it really feels like it's sturdy built. During the test pressure applied to the bezels and deck it was without any creak sounds. Hinges feel strong and well positioned. If you don't like to clean the deck or the lid too often, I can say that the silver version has excellent protection against fingertips. When I first opened this laptop, one of the first things I noticed is that buttons have now more visible symbols. The keyboard otherwise feels nice, it performs similarly to G7 and it's similarly responsive and offers a good typing experience with a deep press button feedback. Sadly, the touchpad is still small and can be a little too clumsy for big hand users like me, but when you get used to it, it works fine. The next interesting items are on the sides, you will find that HP G8 has a lot of inputs Ethernet, HDMI, USB-C and audio are on the left side, but that's not all, we also have some inputs on the right side. So there is a card reader and two USB on the right side next to the power input, but if you really want to upgrade memory, you can add extra SSD drive or RAM, because it has two slots for RAM and drive upgrade, so there is plenty for everyone. The 15.6 inch screen covers less than 60% of the core gamut, and it's dimmer according to the light meter tests, around 200 nits, which is enough for comfortable use in the bright room. But if you want to use it outdoors, I would avoid direct sunlight like a vampire. The color accuracy is not the best for the designers, but for watching videos or playing games it has more than enough colors. The Full HD screen resolution is fine and sharp enough, weaving angles are wider than you would usually find on budget laptops, at least if you have IPS in the screen specs instead of TN. On the top of the screen is high definition webcam with mic. Its video quality is suitable for video chat apps and some quick clips. For anything more serious, I would connect 4K or at least Full HD webcam. And uh, if you really care about camera privacy, you will need to improvise here, because there is no camera shutter. Now it's time to test some sound. So we move on to the speakers. You will notice there is plenty of high and mid-range sounds in terms of frequencies. Bass is acceptably canny. Okay, in some music clips it even pop up. 
while movie effects also sound above average. It's worth highlighting that they are loud enough to fill average office room without distortion and you can always connect slightly bigger speaker. In day-to-day -day use, it handles web and office apps just fine, as well as multitasking, editing and processing. It could be even used for low-medium quality gaming, if you go with GeForce MX graphics version. But the basic model has only Intel graphics, which is ok for simple games and you can even play uh, Apex with it. The battery is ok, it can last from 5 to 7 hours with 40% of screen brightness and balance processor settings. I'm not gonna hold back here. The HP 250G8 is a simple budget laptop with basic necessary features, but it still offers fast processing and sharp Full HD screen and above average battery life. The color accuracy could be better, but for the price it is understandable. And yes, in the future probably with G9 I would like to see privacy shutter. Let's be fair and say HP upgraded G8 not just in terms of bezels, but also in many other areas, like processor, memory and cooling efficiency. So, at the end of the day, I think the main arguments for the HP 250G8 are its simple design and easy way to upgrade it. At this price, many will overlook its limits and go for it. That is, so long as HP can actually keep it in the stock. Thank you for watching and see you soon.